This weekend in London, the Rwandan High Commission invited its citizens and friends to celebrate the country's 23rd Liberation Day. The tiny country, almost written off, has rebuilt from the ashes to become today a leader within the continent. Now, with its national carrier further connecting Europe and the diaspora to Africa, it's an opportunity to celebrate the historic opening of the direct route from London to Kigali with the national airline company Rwandair. Among the diaspora, the youth has been mobilizing to proudly represent their country. Let's hear from some of the leading ladies at the event. Pibo Hora is uh, liberation in Kenya, Rwanda. It's an important day for us. It's celebrated on July 4th. Um, that happened 23 years ago, uh, July 4th, 1994. Uh, as I said in my speech, it was a day when all Rwandans were given an opportunity to have a home, to have a country to call home. Uh, so it's important in that, in that, in that manner because um, it was a time where all Rwandans were welcomed back into their country. Many have um, had to live um, in, in, in the diaspora uh, as refugees, not, not by choice. Um, so it's an, important, it's an important event that we mark as Rwandans as Rwandans that celebrate the unification of our country, uh, a country that has healed in the last 23 years, a country that is offering hope for beyond Rwanda and beyond Rwandans. We are hoping that uh, we can, that other Africans can emulate this in basically being a resilient people, going after the right destiny for their countries and their nations, and defining themselves um, to create that which they could be proud of. From April 7th to July 4th, we celebrate, we commemorate the lives we lost. More than one million of our brothers and sisters perished simply because of bad politics. And so today we have a renewed country full of hope. Um, the, the address is mostly focused on the youth because we see them as the ones who will take on the mankle and make sure that um, they make Rwanda really a country to be celebrated, a country that embraces all of its children, a country that makes us proud whether we live in Rwanda and whether or whether we are in the diaspora. As Rwandans we're really proud of how far the country has come and Rwanda is a testament to how far the country has come in the last 23 years. The UK is one of the top five destinations uh, for, for, for Rwanda, so it was important for us to come here. And uh, we, we hope with this new route, we'll enhance trade between uh, Rwanda and the UK, and also tourism, and also connect the Rwandan diaspora in London and the rest of, of the European cities to their country as well. It was very difficult as well. Uh, Gatwick is a very busy airport, so getting slots was also a huge challenge, but uh, we managed to get our slots. Uh, so we're, we're very hopeful about the route. Um, the passenger numbers are picking up, uh, especially now during the peak season, July and August, we have almost full flights. So we're, we're, it's performing according to our expectations. So that, that's, that's, uh, we're very proud of that. We have 22 destinations currently. Uh, we're looking at in including uh, Bamako, uh, Conakry, Dakar, uh, and then uh, Guangzhou in China, and then New York City next year as well. We were invited to dance, um, traditional dance from Rwanda. Um, from our group is uh, based in London, so we get called for different um, ev uh, events. Sorry. We were born in France, but we were born with the traditional way, the Rwandan traditional way. So we were very interested in, uh, in the traditional things that they do in Rwanda. So we started to dance in Paris. Uh, when we were young, my dad was teaching us as well before. Um, so we grew up loving it so much and now we just, um, we just want to do it everywhere. Any opportunity that we have, we want to um, show people because it's a different dance as well. So we want to show people how, um, how it is where we come from.